In today's video, we're going to be breaking down Laurie Markkinen and what makes him such a high prolific scorer this year in the NBA. Believe me, it's not just because of him. He's got a great team. Let's get down. Let's check him out. Okay, so to start this first play, here is Laurie Markkinen. As we can see in this video, what we are looking at is great teamwork. Drive, kick, swing, swing for the three-point shot. If it wasn't for his teammates being able to swing this ball around quick enough, he would have never had the open shot. The reason being is if we rewind this, we see fantastic help defense. Then we see that hammer kick out pass to the corner. Once that pass gets to the corner, what should happen happened and then the defense swung around to play true help defense. Once that pass got there, this shot was no longer open because of that defender, so they swung that ball around. Lori Markkinen's defender then switched over, and then you now have Lori Markkinen who is wide open, and if it wasn't for this quick swing, this defender from a Linux would have been quick enough to get to Laurie Markkinen. He could have made that extra pass, but this defender is close enough to be able to cover that, which means that if it wasn't for his teammates, he would have never had the open shot. This is exactly why passing is so important. You can get the defense off balance, which will then allow you to have a three-point shot. Also, his ability to run the floor and his teammates always looking to push the ball. Here we see Olenek get that ball down court to Mike Conley, or at least it looks like Mike Conley from this angle, and then Mike Conley was able to pass to Laurie Markkinen for that three-point shot. This was because Laurie Mark, or what looks to be Conley's back was to the basket. Laurie Markkinen had a wide open lane to take, and that is the right pass because now he could take that drive or in this case, he could take that shot, and that's exactly what he did. Laurie Markkinen also has really good footwork. Here he's attacking his defender, he pushes off of that right leg, and then he's able to step back for that shot. This was perfect mainly because if you're a right-handed shooter going towards the right side, you always want to go towards the left side, so that your right side's in line. You can do this cheatingly by pushing off that right foot, landing on two feet at the same time, and then going up for your shot. Here he gets the ball essentially in transition, and he does a quick shot fake that gets his man up into the air. He's then able to attack that open lane. Now normally, yes, I would say attack that top foot, but there's multiple defenders there. You don't want to do that, so this was the right decision. After attacking left, he could not get past totally his defender. What he did was he angled his body into his defender and then he took his almost like a veer step slash euro step towards the basket around that defender. Again, here we have another drive towards the basket, another kick out pass and quick reverse or quick swing passes over to Laurie Markkinen. This is exactly what my U14 team is doing this year and we are killing teams so far because of our ball movement. If you can pass fast, you're going to have open shots. Lori Markkinen's also able to read these off-ball screens extremely well. So here they have a, a pin-down screen for Lori Markkinen. It all comes down to what his defender is doing as to what Lori Markkinen is going to do. So if this player goes over top of the screen, this would be a cut in towards the basket. But because this defender is going underneath the screen, Lori Markkinen's able to pop for that shot and the footwork is really good as well so that he can get that shot because if a player goes underneath that screen, you've created that much distance between you and your defender and you better be pulling for that shot. Now what makes this shot so good is he hops off his right foot, lands essentially on two feet, by, by hopping off the outside foot, that's going to allow you to stay balanced, strong core, and then he's able to land on both, step forward with his right foot so that his right side's in line, and he's able to drain that shot. The footwork obviously helps him be able to be more accurate, but the strategy behind if your man goes underneath the screen to pop instead is a strategy that everybody should know and everybody should use. 
This is another strategy that you can use to, or at least a footwork strategy that you can use. If you're kind of going sideways towards the left side, you're a right-handed shooter. Before you catch that ball, right foot. As soon as you catch it, left foot, and then you step in with your right. This will allow you again to get your right side in line so that you can jack these three-point shots and hit at a high percentage. Being patient as well, you don't always have to score. Here he passes it up to a teammate, and then he does a quick brush-style screen so that he leaves his defender trying to hedge on the ball handler. Because of that, the ball handler Connolly is able to get that ball back to him and he's able to drain that shot with somebody right in his face. Now the reason why again this was caught or at least shot very accurately is off the right foot, left foot, right foot and then he's able to drain that shot perfect footwork. I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, make sure to go check out the hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below, and I'll see you guys again next time.